yeah clean and neat such a difference between our slums hello yeah i know <laughs> Look. <laughs> that seems particularly even evil, even for a law firm. Yeah, maybe you should just sleep on a bench or something, or you know, somewhere less in sight. Uh, where's the exit? This isn't the exit. Yes. Well, you know, you'd be surprised at how much money I've got, dude. buy these last time I was here. Uh, not here, but last time I was in a shop. I'm going to buy some more of these because I should have really done that. Um, yeah, I can buy more. They are useful. And it's not like I need my cash for anything else. Do come back. Went to the customer service school of Bellator. There we go, this is the exit, of course. Am I blind? Maybe. There we go, hello. Keeping the neighborhood clean. Um, for God's sakes, I keep. keep Everything is just too clean here. Uh, Boots can't find his bearings. Please have your one gate community pass ready for auto scan. Hello. Did I talk to you last time? Yes. Yes, we used to be probably not friends, to be fair. But um, acquaintances. Alright, let's sneak up on Detta. What could possibly go wrong? A private community. Mm -hmm. Yet I can just walk in. There's the thing. I did not. Uh, he said he needed a better um, weapon as well, but I think that's just a, a random thing they say towards end game because, as far as I know, I've got the best weapon for each of them, so they shouldn't complain. Um, but do I have a better mystic? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with that one. Uh, and that is... Good, excellent. Okay, so... The harmonic I made is actually better. That's good. Oh, the harmonic is found, so... I don't have a harmonic for everyone. 
I'm not entirely sure where you get them. But we've got, you know, fairly good mistake for everyone. So let's try not to die. Hello. Hi there. Oh, what? I should have probably healed her. Can't do it. Oh, he can transfer it from himself to someone else. That's cool. Just protect yourself. And uh, God number one. Like that, did you? Nice. Sorry, as I know his his mistake mainly just does generic damage. anything they missed pretty good oh there we go uh, I don't know what that does at all but let's see Maybe that was a bit overkill. Cool. Well done, pal. Nice. Another vile things you just get. Alright, I'm just going to heal up pal to say really didn't notice that he was doing kind of bad. Um, might as well have got enough of them. Trespassers will be mutilated. That's that's worse than just shooting someone though, isn't it? Same place. Terrible things. Right. Next battle. It's only one guy. Ah. You're dead. I'm just gonna hit you with regular stuff. No need to waste all my mystic on you. Hey, no fair. <laughs> that, that's better. I'm just gonna hit you with my new stuff. Ooh. That looks painful. Are you dead? You will be. Ow. There you go. Nice try. heal grease out of that so that means I like keeping my characters 
doctor. It's sort of a habit like, I don't know, reloading your gun after a battle. It seems like it would make more sense to reload before the battle, but it doesn't really. Because now you've got plenty of time, things are quiet, and you're prepared in case there's an ambush. Like this one, which isn't really an ambush, but let's pretend it was. Because we ran straight into there. Couldn't even sneak past. Right, I'm going to... Uh, no. I thought um, Grumpos was frozen, but it's actually slowed because of... I think it's because of the shield cell he's using. I have to check exactly what it is. But I think he's got a really good shield set shut shield cell but it sort of um, yeah um, has that negative effect making him a bit slower and better cool. they're all still on the field I'm gonna free that one. Right. Uh, windmill dash on Hex. Painful, right? Couldn't see the numbers. Dude. Um, nah. Yeah, that one. looks a lot worse than what it is. Surely that would destroy a regular robot or human. But we're not regular. Cool, leveled up. And let's heal everyone again. Routine. Oops. That was a waste. Checking all the little uh, side passages to see if there's any, you know, heal grease or mistake or other such useful items that we can pick up. But alas, nothing. I'm going to freeze the one. Nothing. No. Oh, it's pretty rainbow for nothing. Again, why does he keep jumping?
like if my characters miss, then the enemy jumps aside. And if the enemy character misses, then my character just stands there as they always do and the enemy just jumps next to them. I'm stupid. And I'm gonna just try to insta-kill this dude. Done it. <laughs> cool. And Brumpo's leveled up. So they're level 33, whereas Boots is level 44. Um, depends a bit on which characters you tend to take with you on missions whether they level like they all keep up in level a little bit as far as i know but if you don't take them they're slightly lower level than the ones that you do take with you if that makes any sense all right uh, i'll just save this all on the same slot Petter's Fortress is just around the corner. Yes, there is no going back. I uh, I have prepared as much as I could, I think. I don't think there's anything more I can do, really. I've got all the potions, healing stuff, mistake, best weapons. That should be fine. Yeah, it'll be great. Yeah, yeah, of course. Let's do it. It'll be awesome. So easy. Alright, girls. Two teams of three. I'll lead one. Stiletto will lead the other. Why her? It's personal. We're both settling old scores here tonight. What about me, Mr. Burtz? I need you for a special mission, pal. You gotta break into their security center and access the system. Think you're up to it? Then let's put this baby to bed, folks. Sly? Yeah? I'm proud of you. I know you can do this. I'd give you a hug if I could. Thanks. Don't look now, woman scorned. <laughs> I get to kill him, understand? We're here for the stone. Who says we're gonna kill him? I do. If I kill him, our lives can go on. Both of ours. Good luck. Alright, so here comes an entirely new bit of gameplay where we can pick our parties and we'll be split up and we'll be uh, swapping back and forth between the parties as far as I remember this bit. So we've got Stiletto in the one and Boots in the other. So, I'm gonna play Spaco with Stiletto because Boots has a lot of hit points, but so does Paco, so two tanks. I'm gonna play. Um, hmm. I find it's a bit difficult because I'm thinking what can each of them do. To be fair, it doesn't really matter. I think they're all a bit similar. Like I always found Paco is super strong. Does a hit like does a ton of damage with his regular attacks and his special attacks. So does Boots. So for me, they're the two hard hit. I want them in separate teams, basically. But apart from that, I 
think Stiletto does a fair amount of damage as well. Uh, I think I'm going to place Democritus with them and then Ro and Grumpos in this team. I don't want Paco and Boots in the same team, basically, because I think they're both the, the strongest characters. I might be wrong about this, I don't know, I never really thought about it that much, and I don't really do min-maxing that much, so... But I think they're both strong, tanky characters, so I like to keep them in separate teams. But apart from that, I don't really notice any difference between... I know that Stiletto has some really hard-hitting special skills, at least. But like I said, I don't notice Grumpo's role, Democritus and Pal are all sort of similar-ish to me. Like, not the strongest, not the hardest-hitting. So, I'm just going to keep them like this. I don't... Yeah, I think Democritus is one of the weaker characters. Maybe because I don't usually take him with me that often. I don't know. But I think this is a fairly decent thing. I don't think he can do it completely wrong. Like I said, the only thing I wouldn't do is put Paco in the same team as Boots. But even then, uh, especially if you play on normal, it's really not that strategic. Alright, so shift tap to swap between party members, I think. Let me just... Okay. Alright. Maybe not. So, team one. Well, team boots. Let's check. Find a key somewhere. Keystone somewhere in the fortress. Everyone, please be careful. Fish out the entrance to Detta's basement. So we're all going to go in, yeah, different sides and things like that. So I think this is where we supposedly came in through. Yeah. So we can save here. Now I'm gonna save that as a separate one. Just in case I did do something wrong with picking my teams. Uh, I'm trying to see though, shift tab does not do anything except for make it impossible for me to actually do anything in the game. Maybe I read that wrong. We'll see. I hope not, because I hope this doesn't make it difficult. There's a timeline over there. Cute. So we're going to try to get in through the basement. Yeah. There we go. Just want to have a look around to see if there's anything else I can find. Ooh, enemies. Um, now the thing is, trying <laughs> I'm trying to look around the corner to see if there's anything useful there like any point in taking these out I don't think so I'm gonna leave it just fight for the sake of fighting is not really my thing I like to conserve my my energy why is she so bad? Right. I don't know if she... Oh yeah, I was going to check this. Yeah, he's got that mug mug cell which slows you down. I'm alright with that. I'm, I'm okay with him being a bit slow. Looks like this is it, girlies. Let's join the party and wait for the others inside. All right, so you automatically swap between the characters. Which is good. So... This is Pal. Pal 
Charles on a special stealth mission of his own which I remember had some pretty annoying bits so this is where as far as I know this looks like to be the place where Boots team just went in so Pal is not going that way Pal is going that way and then we swap to Stiletto team Stiletto I know I'm all the saving again Team Stiletto. Um, team Superhero and Big Badass Planet. Uh, I don't know which way it's best to go. Probably this way, but I'm gonna check what's up here. Uh, enemies over there. Let's try to avoid. Like I say, if, if it's not necessarily. I'd rather not. Because oh, we could ring the bell and ask if he will let us in, but that doesn't seem like the best strategy here. Maybe not. So it was the other way. Okay. Alrighty. Giant. Is that his mom? I hope not. <laughs> Quite like that. Statue with his uh, debtor face, whatever type of alien he is. Oh, that, that's probably our way in. Just having a look around the garden, see if there's anything that got dropped and that we could pick up. Nothing in the dark corners here. Over there. Nope, nothing. No. It was worth checking. So, yeah, this is our way in. Yep. Okay. Find the gear. Yeah. Stay alert and search every nook and cranny of the basement for access to Detta's main fortress. Right. Looks like we're going to have to fight now. Everybody ready? Nope. Great. That hurt. Right, uh, mock number one. I'm just gonna concentrate all my fire on one of them just to take it to see if I can get it. They are fairly tanky, aren't they? Let's try that again. Killed him, I think. Oh, bro, he's not doing well. Uh, heal yourself, lady. Yes, we took out one of them. I'm just going to stuff sweep both of them. Good thing that doesn't do friendly fire. There we go, both dead. That was worth waiting for. Yeah, Grumpus, you did nothing. Yeah, so anything we can loot? Anything at all? What? Nothing. Is that the way we came? I'm guessing we have to go through this door? No? No, we don't. Oh, we have to go through this door. It's 
seems interesting. You can probably try to lockpick that with boots. I find it slightly faster to use the keyboard to do that mini game, uh, pressing the spacebar to try a number and pressing up and down keys to swap it. Yay! Ooh, what's this? Where are we now? He's got a huge basement. Ooh, there's something, something here. What is it? Oh, a keynote. Oof. I don't know. Oh, I was just trying to come up with words. Um, I'm not that good at this. No idea if I'm meant to find keep us pass somewhere or if I can find one further along or if I'm just meant to guess. I don't know. Just going to go back now to see if I may have missed something in that previous room. That would have given me a clue. Uh yeah, that the corp. All just random boxes, isn't it? It's nothing really. To be fair, I might, if I could swap between groups, I could possibly find out. But the problem is, it said shift tap, but shift tap doesn't work. I'm thinking maybe because it is steam so it's got something else tied to it like it's got the steam overlay tied to that I'm just going to go look further ahead and hopefully I can come back later I don't think you the game doesn't lock you out of anything super important it would just be background flavor as I know. Oh god. Um, skill number one first.
going to poison him. This will be the last one we kill. Oh my god. That is if this doesn't kill them. Aha, <laughs> it was a poison that killed them. Good. Exactly as I intended. All right. Let's see. Fill them up a bit. Also, I prefer to keep my healing for after battles as opposed to in battles if I can avoid it at all. Um, because you lose a whole round just trying to heal. I don't think it's worth it. Um, what now? Yeah, this is the part where I have to be able to switch between characters, basically. Um, because uh, characters on the other side of the map can actually lower this bridge and change things so these can get across so you have to be able to swap so what I'm going to do is I can't remember when I last saved but I'm going to have to quit and see if I can get this um, Get my steam overlay set to something else just for the purpose of this game or, or like I'm disabled or whatever So I can actually use the shift tab keys for what it's intended for in this particular game So I don't think I can go back and save no and there's no time minder here. So I'm going to have to replay Those battles Sadly Okay, so we're back at this part and I changed my settings in Steam so that Shift Tab does not bring up the overlay anymore, but it swaps party members now. Hooray! Uh, so there's two things we want to look out for. Uh, we need the bridge controls, but we also want to see if we can find anywhere, perhaps, um, access to the keynote that we found, like, password. So I'm just going to check with Pal first. Um, I think uh, the Pal mission is mainly just hacking lots of things. Um, but he does have a few battles coming up, as far as I remember. So I want to make sure that he's in full health and ready to go. So let's see what this is. So we'll need to find a password for this bridge. Move bridge. See, there we go. That's good. Uh, I don't know if this is the same access. Let me just check what this is. Find the code to open up the basement entrance to the fortress. Oh, yes, indeed. actually see which one will burn out um, if you look closely oh, so this is the same ah, I can actually read the info on this one 
Uh, right, so a terminal is used to access security systems with proper clearance to monitor the state of current operations and to provide information for each section. <laughs> Turnover can be somewhat frequent in the Ditter Corps organization, so the information sections should help initiate new recruits to the function of their section. I wonder why. In case of a security violation, individual terminals will only have local access. Okay. Okay. Guards are organized in groups of three. Please get your third of the day's code instructions and combine it with the two thirds of your duty mates. And this will provide the means to decode the day's orders, codes for the security systems and so on. Once you've got them the code instructions for the day, erase your keynotes. I'm sure they do that. It's like, don't write your password on a post-it. <laughs> Guards failing to do so will find an increase in the turnover rates if we understand each other. We do. Code particulars, code instructions. General code numbers to use. Code numbers are associated with the Galaxy Morse code standard with one corresponding to Astro, two to Barnard, and so on. Discuss this code with no one. Of course. Da, 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 da. Okay. Use only multiples of three. So. And then you'd have three, six, and nine. Of course. Good luck. Do your job, do it well, and you get to keep it. Also, don't die. Right. Uh, well. Awesome. So we can control the bridge with this one. Which we have done. Now let's see what these two, well, three, have to access. Oh. No. No. It was worth a try. Go downstairs. Oh, another keynote. Yeah. I feel the only word I could properly come up with was cage. Anywho. Oh, we can walk on these. Uh. Oh. Ah, we shouldn't. How much did that damage me? Eh, not so much. Right, let's walk back to uh, these guys. They can use the bridge now, but we still don't have the pass for that key keynote so I kind of want to find that maybe I should go on with Pal for a little bit see if there's anything past the room that he's in right now maybe uh, uh, giant basement it's more like a warehouse look at that who has that in their basement also there is something there another keynote maybe Who has basements like this, honestly? Let's go up and see what we've got. Oh, we need to swap the bridge again. Right, that means I'm going to have a quick look. Pell now. Nothing here. Ah, got stuck. Let's have a a look down here. Oh, what's this? Oh, yes. Uh, this is same one he's got, but better. Awesome. Keep running into the walls. Just making sure there's nothing else behind any sort of pillars or beams. Thank <laughs> you. 
Right, what's here? Mm -hmm. Angry. Whoops. I don't know if that was the cleverest idea, pal. Um, let's do it. The keynote under here. Try not to die. Oh, fuck's sake. Just wanted to see what it did. Awesome. Haha. <laughs> no. Oh, very useful then, is it? Uh oh. Need to heal. Need to hit heal. 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 I'm a bit worried that that didn't kill that dude. That was over 4,000 damage. I'm gonna nuts hammer. Oh shit. Fuck's sake. Right. Stop hitting me, you're, you're supposed to be crazy now. I don't know what is... What does it do? Uh, whatever this does, do it. Do it. impressive but what did it do that didn't kill it I don't think I'm supposed to try to kill these dudes was that just Draining his shield instead of probably was something stupid. Uh, that one. This is do it. Hopefully, it'll kill some of them. Oh, yes, I use oh, that killed all of them. Huh. Awesome. There we go. That was actually not as hard as I thought it would be. Right, but how do I... Can I get to that keynote? If I go to this uh, the side, of course. Nope. <laughs> That's a shame. So we all have access to a keynote now, but none of us have the password for it. That is a shame. Um, we just 
heal power. Right. So I'm just gonna move the bridge. Let's see if Team Boots can. Uh, oh, actually. So they have a key code down. Keynote. Keynote down there. They have all these codes. See if Team Boots is any more luck. Um, okay. Uh -huh. Team Boots. What's this? Aha. Uh -huh. Awesome. This, this oh, I see. I see, uh, but we're gonna check this sneakier entrance first. Oh, teams of three, eh? When you, I, I never thought about this, but they actually are very typical RPG roles, don't they? Where um, Grumpos is obviously a cleric, and um, Boots is rogue, I'd say, lockpicking and all that. Um, wanna wait for a bit. Um, I'm not too. Well versed into actual D and D and stuff like that, but this could be fight or go. Hal is a rogue, definitely. All this hacking and stuff. Everybody's rogues. Still, it is a rogue too. I 
I'm sure people know more about these things, could pick out better, you know, character archetypes than I could. I just know Grumpus is, is a cleric with his own uh, religion and healing thing. Ah, oh, we should have brought the Mokritus here. Really? Really, game, you do that to me? That's a shame. Shame, shame, shame. Truly. So, anyone who wants to play the game hasn't before, put Democritus in Boots' team. You know. If you want that last piece of mistake and uh, what's the other thing called? Uh, some sort of shield, I think it was. Something. Uh, 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 uh. Heal grease. And. Okay. So. Enemies. Enemies. Hmm. They don't particularly seem to want to fight us, so that's good. Kegs something and what's this lotus look at that cute face now oh. oh, there's something it's a I assume a drunk nox guard so I have to go that way All right let's see can we I'll probably want to go that way as well at some point oh, what's in here nothing at all Literally. Drunk mm. dude. By oh, the glorious drunk. Should we frisk him? Yes! Of course. Today's face. Ah. And one, two, three. Does it say this? Ah, cool. I know what that means. I know what that means. I know. Well, I have some idea what that means. It means that I can now access at least one or more of these keynotes I've been finding. So let's go back with these people first. And then check. For the main code, the access code, uh, He's got some numbers there, all these. But obviously, that is only one third of the actual code. So I'm going to save here. Seems like this team is the only one that can save at the moment. And try to access the keynote we found here. Face. Why didn't I think of face? Such an obvious word. Okay. Keypad code cells 2 and 6, 4, 2, 1, 2. Okay, 4, 2, 1, 2 for 2 and 6. And 6, 7, 7, 6 for the others. A 
let's go try that and see if there's anything to loot there. <laughs> awesome. What is this? This is experiment IV4. So we can't access that one. Right. So for one, three, and five, six, seven, seven, six. There we go. Oh. Hello. Um, we having a meeting. Is there anything in here that I want? Might as well. Awesome. Spiker has less health than Stiletto. Yeah, he's lower level. I must have been taking Democritus and Stiletto to a lot of places. Because they seem to be higher levels than lots of others. See, I thought this pillow might have been something I could pick up because it looked so different than the rest from a distance. Turns out it's just a pillow. Now, well. At least we got some experience there. So, number two is 4212. There doesn't seem to be any guards in here, so we can just have a look around. Oh, someone's been in, in here for a while. Just hope that's all, all, all different people just adding to it. Hmm. What do I see here? Is that something I can... No? I thought maybe that was... Oh, it is. It is, it is. Flick a switch. Did that fail? I never know when they... Like, what the sound is. The bridges are already extended. Okay, so... Oh, that literally just did... That literally just gave me access to all of the cells. Okay. Well, that's cool, I guess. Oh, it just extends the bridges. It doesn't actually open the doors. That's stupid. What's the point? What's the point? Three. Uh, six, seven, six enemies, but that is something I can pick up. That is a time minder tier. So I am going to do that. For a second. Oh, yeah, nice. That missed. Mm -hmm. 
rogue. Definitely. Boots still need to fight us who can look big. I'd say stiletto and pala rogues. Row with some sort of wizard or sorcerer. Paco's like a barbarian or a fighter or something. A monk. I'm probably just talking nonsense. To kill them, got them. Everybody's missing. Come on, Paco. We're waiting for you. <laughs> Not much is being done this fight. Yeah, do this thing. Kill him. <laughs> Not dead yet, but I'll come. There we go. That must have hurt somewhat. Yes. Dead. It's annoying when the <laughs> when the uh, people are blocking your view of the animation. There we go. Tears. Mine. Was it worth it? Mm, probably not. Number five, so that is uh, six, seven, six. No, why not? Let's try the other one. Oh. Pretty sure it's at one, three, and five is six, seven, seven, six, but maybe someone got it wrong. Damage dead, 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 dead. Boom. It's no use. I'm just going to hit him. That painful looking spiky thing. like there was anything except for enemies in this particular cell block. Or maybe I read it wrong.
I saw that it's the uh, even numbers were the same and the uneven were the same. Hitting him in the knee over and over again, it's like that must be so painful. in this cell either. Guessing the ones that have guards in them don't have it. Well, that one had a timer in the tier, so... back with um, these characters and now they have to change the bridge again because I want to go back and read what's on the um, on their little uh, whatchamacallit uh, keynote found the keynote and then uh, run them back up to talk the bridge again okay. uh, face correct code no data uh, it might have just been the same that uh, oh, that doesn't make sense it wouldn't be the same it's this one that one was found near the cell block so it makes sense that it has that information on it. This one doesn't have anything on it, but maybe we'll. Well, we already know there's another one uh, downstairs somewhere. We saw one. Not here, but I think we could see it from here. Like if you look down here, there's something. There was something. Yeah, something on the ground there. Uh, maybe, maybe we can get there from here actually. Let's try another heel grease. Always look behind things. Who designs their basement or their warehouse like this? It just seems to cry out for accidents, you know, lugging boxes around. So glad you can't fall off things in this game. All right, let's try again. Face improper access. Time to try cage again. No. So this keynote does not work with the current password, so it must be an older one. Let's see if we can find anything else here. What's this? Another door I can use. What is ooh, uh, another one? Nope. 
like to think that that picture of of Boots' face appearing is actually the keynote taking a picture of your face when you um, input a wrong code so that if the proper owner sees it again he can actually see who was trying to access that keynote it's a safety feature Apparently that thing wasn't a keynote, it's a sort of paper. It was just placed there as a lure apparently. Oh. That's what you get for charging your stuff like that. Just telegraphing your attack. Easy enough. It's just a paper. Yeah. It says Okay. CTBP, shall we try that with Pal on his uh, console? See if it is a code for something at least. It can't be a code for a keynote because it doesn't have the correct uh, letters. Complete? Yes. On we go. Uh, well, on to nowhere because this is it. So we go back up. CTBP. I think it's at least worth a shot. Also, I don't know what that keynote will contain. And whether we can find out. We'll need how to change the bridges again. There's absolutely nothing for us to do in that previous bridge area anymore now. And we'll try to access that um, particular C. It's probably nothing. So we are here now. Oh. Wrong way. Of course. Right. Uh, let's fight these goons. They 
you were really okay with me just wandering there. I'm gonna slow down the last one. Must have hurt his knees. Ow. I said slow down. out of the way so I can freely roam this area and investigate see what's what nice paintings I think that I painted those it's probably a hobby painter I could see that being a thing I already went this way I went up and, I, and then I went down yes to get the oh there's a keynote here I missed that No data. I'm thinking once you've got the data from one of them with that code, it probably doesn't matter anymore. This area is pretty big. I'm in the wine cellar. Again, why is this team the only one that can save? Hmm. Oh, it's not wine. like it should have someone in here to fight me. I wonder what the liquid is. Probably something illegal. Um, what else we got? Right here, just that trunk. Yeah, frisk him again. Yeah, we already got that. Okay, so that's where we came from, that's where we went. I don't think there's anything up here except for being able to see the drunk guy and pick up the glow dance. Okay. And that is where the dudes were patrolling. And there's nothing here. Fought them for nothing. No reason whatsoever. I thought there would be something here. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh no. Ah, there we go. Freed myself. You can't jump in this game, so you can't do the whole 
keep jumping until you glitch out. And I hope swapping might help, but it actually moves the swappable character to the place the original was, so that doesn't help. Right, so... I'm thinking we need to access that door downstairs to get on. This one. It doesn't really say. I wonder though, like, this hurts me, but is there anything, anything at all that I can access? I didn't really look downstairs to see if there's anything worth getting hurt for. Doesn't look like it. Probably not. So we pretty much have done everything we can as far as I know with this team, Team Stiletto, all done. So on we go with Team Boots, Team Boots, uh, we've done all of this with Boots. So what we want to do is have Pal change the bridges again. Oh, and check if a face will access that keynote. I'm guessing not, but it's worth a shot. Let's give it a go. No. Well, yes, but it doesn't contain any data, so it was useless. Sadly. Let's get on then. Nope, yeah. Right. Special door. Mm hmm. This looks exciting. And a safe point. Make use of that. Locked. Of course it is. It's probably where we need to go though. It's probably the door we need to be able to unlock with Hell's code. I'm guessing we need to go into these uh this is where we came from. Yeah. Oh they're all little chambers. I thought there would be one big one. Makes sense. Ooh. Cipher number three. Right. Yes, we do need to decipher. Let's check all of these and see if, if it makes any sense then. I can't remember the solution to this puzzle. Three. Not enough information. Oh, okay, it'll do it automatically if you just collect the correct things. I'm not sure. Probably not going to be the crit. No, it's not. Cage. No. Second number one. Right, so. And that one will be cipher number two. So apparently I'm doing it in the whole wrong order. Yeah. 
Right, and let's go have a look at the main one then. I can't remember, is it this one? Is it the next? It will be the next one. Yeah. Next one. Right, one, two, three. Use only odd numbered entries today. So, one and three. here the code solution use only odd numbered entries today indeed ah so one three eleven thirteen oh okay i see it use only odd number i didn't see that i'm <laughs> obviously not clever enough good thing the game solved it for me then could have been here a while so what was it one three eleven thirteen okay one three eleven thirteen one three eleven thirteen Got it all figured out. That is true. Um, right, yo. So I don't actually know which door opens here, but I'm going to have a look around. I'm assuming it'll become. The useless one. Um, did they go in there? Oh, yeah, this is the wine. So, oh, that's what opened, isn't it? Yeah. Safe here. Let's climb the stairs. Yep make it happen and I'll save the boots exactly yep Tense music.
I was trying to wait for Boots' cap to load because I couldn't be bothered to do the aerial trigger. It wasn't really a desperate fight, so... I'm thinking next time I play it, maybe I should go in a more difficult mode. New, new enemies coming up. do much. Missing every time, Grumpus. Every time, try to hit something like that. Okay. There we go. Battle's over. Good, good. Maybe we can if I use the stairs. Nope. Oh, shame. Missed opportunities. Mechanics. never use any of these support things like shields or heals well I use the heal grease but I don't use uh, Grumpus's heal very often I usually don't find it's necessary do a bit more of that. Or like um, curing someone's uh, effects. Or even, or even just adding buffs like haste and stuff. Because the mystic does um, 
everything it does to the enemy it does the opposite to your friends so if you use the slow one on uh, any of your companions it basically is a haste spell I don't know if poison just cures poison or if it does regening actually aerial trigger is not as effective to these dudes as it is to these other ones unfortunately uh, one button. try this and if that doesn't help then I'm gonna use Grumpus heal spell the robots are very tough. Mm. Yes, fear. yes, please. Just get everybody back up to maximum health. There we go, that does damage, doesn't it? Stupid robot. I like robots. But not if they like that. Money. Mm, fancy car. Always look in dark corners. Ha! That is for uh, Stiletto. Now, was there any point in coming here actually? I'm thinking we need to get through that fancy door in the pool. The one we can't interact with probably has to be opened through um, another code. So I think we've seen it all here. This one now. Swap. Alrighty. Two. The other one will have a three on it, I'm guessing. Let's hack the system. Why can't we? I don't think there's any keyboard shortcuts you can use for this one. I spent too long thinking about what I was going to do. And then I ran out of time doing it. There we go. Ooh, this has a lot more. Well, you can't actually access any of these, but today's. Face. Yeah, we knew that already. Security level one. Oh, okay, that's how it works. So, Pal can't get out until security number two. Fair enough. Oops. Find a keystone somewhere, everybody. Please be careful. Yeah, so we're on our own now. Right, um, let's do this. Oh, look at the tiny one. I wish you could have them as a pet. So cute. Right, you ready for this? Oh, no, we're not.
hope they stack. I know that sort of slows the enemy down, so I... Well, that means that he basically won't be doing much now. Hopefully. One more, come on, Quackle, get him. Get him. And <laughs> dead. 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 Very dead. Hooray. Okay. What have we got here? A giant hat? No idea what else that's supposed to be. So let's go with giant hat. I also don't really know what these barrels are meant to be. Like, they look like giant batteries. Let's see what go through here. That's creepy, Detta. Oh, hey! Yes, there's Grumpus. I was wondering if we could see our friends. And we can. We can actually see them. That's cool. Detta, don't do this. He really likes himself, obviously. Alright. <laughs> Lovely. Who does that? I would not really put giant naked statues depicting my face in my house, but hey. Ah yes, um, that looks unsafe. Well, it's at the face, so maybe it's, stuck. it's working again now. Yes it is. Document is classified, blah blah blah. For 17. One, two, five, six. But we're only using odd numbers, right? So seventeen, one, five. That doesn't seem right. It didn't actually update anything, no. It's a bit um, unsettling. Try that again because I already forgot what it was. One seventeen one five. We'll try it and we'll just see what happens. Um Oh generator control. We don't know what the code for that is yet. Um, Security uh, hot chicks room. <laughs> I didn't notice that the first time. Right, so there doesn't seem to be anything else that Pal can do from here. Um, this is a fairly not until we can get security level 2 up so and it can't yeah right 1715 was it 
upgrade on the generator, maybe? work. Who knew? Awesome. Well, to be fair, it was the only thing I could do, so makes sense. Uh, it's not updating properly, but hey. Um, I think we can pretty much figure out what we need to do ourselves. Oof, that's a... Ah, this area. I remember this. Vaguely. Team Stiletto as well. Um, I don't know where to go first. Well, that was a choice easily made for us. Because we can only go through here. Heal freeze, thank you very much. Awesome, and what else is there? Login. Oh, one. Oof, this subject. Oof. My toxic acceleration fluid lab, once bathed in tether waves and electrostimulus subjects are injected with MA fluid and observed. The injection tolerance period is a miracle to behold. One scientist even remarked that the cells in this accelerated atmosphere seem to party down. Once past the injection tolerance period in which one in ten subjects turn into a translucent fibrous puddle. <laughs> Dear God, they are sent to cellular incubation, or if that is full of mucus, then the subject cylinders wait in the holding chamber. On rare occasions, the fluid takes, and the subject is ready for immediate use and is shipped to the. I can't read that. I don't know what letter that first one is. Oh, automatic chamber? Is that an A? It's a weird font. Right, so something dubious at least is going on here then, eh? Also, what subjects? Like humans? Rodents? Seems interesting, but I can't lockpick. Uh, boost the lockpick, so... I know she can't. He can smash it. Smash it. Smash it. Oh god. Ah, 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 ah. God damn it, smash it. Dead. Oh, that was underwhelming. I thought there would be something a little bit cooler down there. But yeah. All right, um, this is another one where teamwork is of the essence, and you kind of have to assume that they can talk to each other, I guess. Yeah, a card. Um, I'm gonna swap 
date. Um, can't log in. Hope we've got security access here and info. Set a wave immersion and electro stimulus. The subjects are given a mild sedative and subjected to burst of theta wave radiation over a period of two hours then the electrostimulus needles are inserted into each major muscle for quick shocks of increasing power ending in a two minute long burn then subjects are then subjects are then quickly shuttled to the mitotic acceleration lab where the MA fluid is injected while the subjects tissues are in the slightly damaged rip Imperative state. They're making super mutants. Okay, so Pal can now move on. Um, so, from the information we could read on that computer, it seems like this is the first phase. Maybe? I don't know. Uh, we'll need to get to hell, I think. Alright. Exactly. Hack the planet. Again, uh, info. Data security reserve. Uh -huh. Ah, I didn't realize we were in an elevator. Awesome. <laughs> like this whole data fortress infiltration section um, because you're really forced to uh, you know it's like you feel like they're working as a team now it's a big heist see there we are and it elevates pal from just a quirky comic side relief to, you know, a useful member of the team. Someone who is needed, whose contributions are worth something, at least. So, yeah. We can't go through this door, no? It's a shame. But, they can now up on. Which apparently I was meant to do from the other side. <laughs> there we go. And there we are. Awesome. Yes, they are humans. Or humanoids that they're testing these things on so yeah always with the super soldiers computers log in info cellular incubation chamber bioco cellular incubation chambers are among the finest in the industry cellular growth increases through theta wave bombardment and metacity Am I pronouncing that right? I, I have no idea. Acceleration fluid. I've been measured on the Hamburson metabiotic scale in such prolific increases as 60 to 1. 
HMS ratio? I don't know what that is. Experiments on test plants and animals have provided impressive results using directed tether wave beams guided on the cellular scale by magnetic inversion tunneling techno bubble. Been able to cause blah blah blah, reproduce themselves, increase the child output logarithmically. <laughs> blah blah blah. Early rodent test to release this subprimate experiments. Those aren't primates though, they're humans. Most impressive is the ability to accelerate the growth in both actin and myosin fibers of the subject muscle tissue. So yeah, they are creating super mutants. Blah 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 blah. No tests obviously have proceeded on humanoid Brebulon, Ewa, those are the flying creatures, nor Cordican sentient creatures, until a true test period of the cyclic and periodic effects of the tether wave bombardment can be studied. Gorian bobber beasts, so prolific, grotesque, and useless as to be labeled by the Sunder Scientific Ethics Committee as the one creature in the universe that exists to be a test animal, <laughs> have been the final taxonomic step before the final exciting and galaxy changing experiment. But should there be no life threatening side effects, science may just have found not a way to build a better mouse trap, but a better mouse. Exciting. And this is how we get boots transported. Teamwork. There we go. Let's have another look here and then swap to boots this team to have them move along. just like the level design here as well and the fact that you can often see your teammates and, and get a sort of an idea of how, how the house is mapped out okay we can't go through here apparently for some reason so we'll swap let them have a little joyride of our invasion I guess we've done the basement we've done the lower levels and now upper levels although apparently we can't go through the door for some reason can't go through the door which I find a bit unsettling because did my game just break or is this part of my puzzle I don't remember Exciting. That was useless. stormed in like that. Oh well, we're fine. We're fine. Although, 
Uh, it's a bit weird. I hope my camera is going to fix itself because this is obviously weird. Good. Yeah. Those tiny things really hit hard. I'm not entirely sure how I meant to not die. Yeah. Probably better things to do here. Yeah, I see. We don't have to go that way at all. Um, activate everything, just everything. Oh, I don't think I needed to activate that. Uh, info. Cylinder holding area. The cellular incubation holding area allows the subjects to reach a state of muscle growth spaces after which they are sent to the incubation chamber. Skeletal muscle, cardiac and smooth muscle all grow at slightly different rates in a declining growth curve. And the holding area allows each mus mus muscle group to catch up to the others. Growth is measured by automatic equipment. If any abnormalities occur in this stage, the agitate and evacuate systems, also known as scramble and suck <laughs> to most holding area workers, are automatically activated. Okay. That was easily useful to know. Okay, so um how can I actually go here, which is a much cleverer idea than getting the shit beaten out of you. No. Oh. Ah, these these are the um, super soldiers, aren't they? So he's creating super soldiers out of the Nox guards. So what have we here? Autochromatic chamber. Here, reddit subjects are frozen in autochromatic stasis until needed. Life signs are kept at super hypothermic levels to avoid cellular blastosis. Once needed, slow warming and electrostimulus awakens the subject. The resulting GIAS, GIAS? Genetic Enhanced Advanced Soldier. <laughs> should perform approximately 140% better in combative task, 270% better in pain threshold measurement, and 215% better in damage resistance. Wow, they're basically tanks. Tests show that the GS, GS are also more in tune with alien mystech technology, using it with ease and something that I can't... Alacrity? I don't know. All in all, a perfect soldier. This force should be ready to assault any major installation and should easily overpower the standard K5 strike suits used by the PAX soldiers. So yeah, so Beta is working hard to, uh, well, start to take over the galaxy. The funny thing is though, Beta is, is waging his own war in, in, in a story that he, he doesn't realize that he's not the big bad. Like, there's worse things than Detta. We're trying to save the actual universe here from being collapsed. 
it's kind of fun because that is all like oh i'm going to power it's like dude there's there's other things you need to worry about all right uh i think uh boots can lower this again i'm just gonna do that think maybe no that was literally just like if it's not there you can't come here interesting anyhow let's uh let's have a look with our other characters uh, team stiletto mm -hmm. That makes sense because that's where we came from. Of course. Uh, or not. I'll just leave it at this for now. And uh, it's apparently still up to how to. Login security, there we go. Okay, I'm just going to swap to the other teams and now I can go through that door. Obviously. Back to the dark corridor. Now we can open this. There we go. Cool. Right. Uh, there we go. Seems familiar. Alright. Uh, Pal is on the other side still. So he'll need to get us out. But um, I'll wait here. way and yeah see that's that's what I thought when I saw when pal accidentally ran into that it's like this is not a battle that pal is meant to be doing on his own this is a uh, for a different team to come through and indeed it was This makes more sense. That dude is a shock.
bit. There you go, little dude. All dead. was a lot of damage. Now let's see. I'm pretty sure that um, flying dude might actually be our old, um, you know, the informer who um, turned out to go up for debtor because he doesn't discriminate against floaters. Why? That was entirely by accident. It doesn't really matter. I've got plenty, but... Anywho, let's talk to him. Yeah, it is that one, Conrad. Timing could not have been more perfect, detective. Thank you so very much. Grateful you found it within your heart to forgive me for my earlier, did I? <laughs> Grand turn of karmic justice, the devious debtor visit recently betrayed me just as i betrayed you yeah that is good to hear this morning i overheard my former employer relate a rather tasteless anecdote about a floater a prostitute and a bag of tea <laughs> he was of course unaware of my presence i'm sure he was at that moment i realized his concern for the rights of floaters was a carefully cultivated deception this fact coupled with his insane plans for galactic domination supported my decision to terminate my employment here. In fact, I was helping myself to quite a nice severance package when that a simple Simons caught me red-handed. Perhaps I could interest you in some of my new acquisitions? Yes, you could. I also might sell you some of my crap. Um, this one. Let's see. Ooh. Protects against slow. Hmm. I prefer things that protect from multiple things. How many have I got? Two. I'm going to buy two more of these because I might want to equip them later. I hmm. I'll have some more of these. I've got money. So much money. There we go. Good luck, detective. You will give the strong man a big shot on the chin for me, won't you? I will, I will, I will. No, no, I'm fine. Uh, look at this. Oof, imagine. He really likes himself, doesn't he? It's not exactly a beautiful view, is it? But yeah, this is what we accidentally stumbled upon with our poor, poor little pal. Okay. I'm going to get stiletto to open that one. Again. This is the part where we all come together, of course. If you haven't noticed, we're all together.
The rat's cloning himself an army. We'd better chill out and wait for the others before making another move. Okay, so let's save here. That's a pretty mean looking door, man. Indeed, you should. Never updates anymore. Just hope my game isn't completely broken. Oof, that's pretty, pretty bad. 